So the first part of what I'd like to talk about is what is a connector and are you a connector and what maybe is the mindset of a connector. Uh, when I was this little kid, I started connecting people. I have no idea why. Even in high school, if I got interviewed for a job and I didn't think I was the right one for it, I would be like, oh, you, you need to meet one of my classmates. They would be perfect at this. So, so evidently, I was like wired with it. But it's something that we can all learn to do. Um, in the book, The Tipping Point, there's actually an exercise. How many of you have The Tipping Point or have heard of The Tipping Point? Or, okay. There's actually an exercise in there. And it involves um, taking this list of names and checking off how many, uh, very diverse names, um, how many of that list that you know somebody with a last name like that. And it actually is a way of, of seeing if you're a connector because part of it is, Mark talked about this, it used to be each person might average knowing 250 people. That now is actually much bigger because of the social media and how we can stay connected. But when you go through that list and you check off people's names, it can kind of like help you see if you're a connector. But there's other ways. You can tell that Mark is a connector because his wheel is going, I call in my brain, I feel like I have like this Rolodex that just, and, and those that know me well, especially like Cynthia Carell, you can tell when I go into the Rolodex. It's like, okay, I know there's somebody up there. And when Steve mentioned, you know, how do we keep it all? I don't actually even know, because I may not have seen somebody for 10 years, and I'm like, I know somebody. But I also use a computer, and I love ACT software, and I keep people in a contact management program. Because I'll go, I know I met him at a, a reference. I know I met him at an eWomen Network conference. In fact, I gotta tell you this story before I move on, because it was just, it kind of blew my mind. So I have a girlfriend named Lethia Owens, and we hadn't talked in a while, and um, she happened to just call and check up on me, seeing how I was, and um, she is starting this really new fantastic program to help senior girls, and we're talking, and she wants to buy this domain name, and she goes, yeah, we came up with this great domain name idea, and wouldn't you know it, somebody has it, but I'm gonna reach out to this person, and the person's in Florida, she's in her late 70s, and I'm thinking, you know, maybe she won't be as interested in using the domain name. And there's a voice in my head going, ask her who it is. And then the other voice in my head, does anybody have two voices? <laughs> <laughs> warning, warning. <laughs> I've got to warn all of you. I have. <laughs> so the one voice is saying, what are the chances you're going to, like, why are you wasting your time, you know? And the other part is, I wonder who it is. So I said, Lethia, you know, who is it? She said, Dr. Florence Alexander. And I said, wow, that name sounds familiar. And in my head, that Rolodex is going, is it someone that I've read their book? Is it someone I've met? Why is it so familiar? I said, Lethia, just a second, I'm gonna pull them up on, the, on the, uh, Google. Pulled it up on Google, it's like, I go, is she African-American? She goes, yeah, I go, I've met her. I've talked with her, I have two of her books. She gave them to me at a conference. <laughs> And, and that's kind of like a connector, like keeps this information. Then I said, well, maybe I met her in 2007 because I, I don't go every year to their conference. I pull it up because of my database. I met her in 2002. Now, my brain wouldn't hold all of that. In fact, people that know me well know I have certain things my brain will hold really well and a lot of things it doesn't. But connecting is something that, um, that I love to do. So, uh, you know, are you a connector? If you find that you love to connect people and help people, you may be a natural connector. There's ways that you can like make it even more strategic and, and uh, bigger. Um, there was something that was asked, I think Dan asked, uh, Dan asked Mark about, I'm, I'm actually switching now from connector to making connections. <laughs> But Dan asked Mark about his, how does, how does he stay up? If you, if you wanna really build relationships, he used the word Debbie Downer. I have a sister-in-law named Debbie and sometimes she can really be a downer, but she's awesome, I love her. But she can be, you know, sometimes like, what's all wrong with the world? If we go into situations and we meet people and we bring that baggage of all the things wrong, you know what happens to the people's energy you're talking to? Can anybody tell me in the room? Dawn, it goes down. It goes down. What happens when you walk into the room 
and you're up, and you say, like Dawn, I love Dawn's top. I think it is like, it's, uh, like I remember the, the woman who likes me to dress with V-necks, like, oh, I love that, it's a V-neck, you know? That feels better than, oh gosh, I was diagnosed with diabetes, and I, you know, there's energy. There's energy in connections and, and making connections with people.